Okay, one of the things I get asked a lot about is what my SIS configuration and what my settings are. SIS configuration is an Intel CT2 E6800 at 3 gigahertz, no overclocking. Um, an 80, uh, excuse me, I used to have an 8800 GT card, um, but now I have a 9800 GTX, also no, not overclocked. It has 512 megabytes memory. Um, I also have 2 gigahertz of PC2 8500 memory um, at 1066 megahertz. Um, and without further ado, I'll go right to settings. Settings, the first screen is the display setting in FSX. Device is the GeForce 9800 GTX. Target frame rate is unlimited. Um, I do that because of a bug in FSX with locking frames. I um, don't have time to go into that now, but I'll leave it in the description. Um, the full screen resolution is 1287 2032. I have 1024 here, but that's only be for this video because I wanted I wanted to do it in 4x3 resolution. Um, I use bilinear filtering. Uh, Trilinear gives me a little better quality, but a little, also a little more performance impact. Uh, Anti-aliasing I do within the video card. Global texture resolution is very high. Um, advanced animations I have set. Lens flare and light bloom is off, and informational text is contiguous. Okay, the next screen is the aircraft settings, and you'll see global settings is set for medium high on that, but that's, um, I set that manually, it just happens to be the, what it comes out to be. Um, I use 3D virtual cockpit default. Um, I do not show the cockpit tool tips, and I also use the high resolution 3D virtual cockpit, and I also, do not use any transparency on the 2D panel. Exterior panels, I do use shadows on the ground for aircraft. Uh, aircraft cast shadows on the ground and aircraft landing lights illuminate ground. I do not use uh, aircraft cast shadows on itself. Doesn't have too much of a performance impact, but doesn't really, I don't really see um, the benefit of it, so I turned it off. Okay, the next screen is the scenery um, settings. Um, train and water. Um, level of detail radius is large. Mesh com complexity is 100. Uh, mesh resolution I have set to 10 meters. That's because I have third party FSG um, mesh. If you just have default, you should set that to 38 meters. Um, texture resolution I have set to 1 meter. Um, I have found with UTUSA. Um, Ultimate Terrain USA. Um, if you set it to 30 meters or less, you get better quality on the roads, but um, at altitude, you don't really see the difference that much. Uh, water effects, I keep low 2.x. Um, any higher than that, you will see a performance impact. Um, and low 2.x gives you pretty good quality to begin with. Land detail textures is always should be checked. Uh, scenery complexity, I always use the extremely dense setting for that. Auto gen density, I set for dense. Um, I do not use ground shadows. That has a major impact on performance. Um, if you could all help it, do not set that. Um, special effects detail is high. And on to the next screen. Okay, the next screen is weather. Uh, visual settings, cloud draw distance, I use 90 um, miles. Um, you may want to use less um, or more depending on what performance you want to see. Um, 90 miles gives me a nice um, compromise between performance and quality. Thermal visual visualization, I leave as none. Um, simula simulation settings, I do download winds aloft data, but that shouldn't affect performance. Cloud detail, I have at maximum, 
and detail clouds. Okay, and the last performance related um, setting screen in, within FSX is the traffic screen. Um, as you can see, I have airline traffic at 100%. Um, I do use a rather large world of AI traffic database um, of mostly all the major carriers for um, the United States, Europe, and the Asian countries. Um, I do not use general traffic um, generally, although I do delve in it sometimes. Um, right now it's off. Aircraft airport vehicle density, I have none. I can set that um, higher, but um, right now I don't need to. Uh, road vehicles, same thing. I have set for zero. I can set that for like 20-25% with minimal um, impact. Uh, depend on area. I mean, New York, yeah, obviously, you'll have a more a larger impact than you will out in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, ships and ferry, I have zero. Leisure boats, I have zero right now. Um, aircraft labels, I usually keep them off. Um, I find them very unrealistic. Um, and that's it for the FSX GUI settings. Um, the next